of class for most students in Lee, Charlotte, Hendry, and Glades counties. Students at one school in Fort Myers, though, started the year with no fresh water. A water main broke along Treeline Avenue near Treeline Elementary School this morning, shutting down the road and forcing the school on a boil water notice. The school and neighborhoods around it. Now, this is the fourth water main break in this area of Treeline in the past seven months. NBC2's Hope Salmon is showing us how the school scrambled to make some last minute adjustments to cope without running water. Water quality is a big concern for everybody. After five years of living with water issues on Treeline Boulevard, Pamela Stevenson left. I just moved off of Treeline and um, now I have a well and septic and I don't have any problems at all with water flow or water supply. Today's water main break on Treeline Avenue makes four since February along this road. Parents and staff heading to Treeline Elementary got stuck in traffic where the water main broke this morning. The school handed out water bottles to students and had to adjust when preparing food in the kitchen. One side of Treeline was down to only one lane where crews were working to fix that break. Residents are getting frustrated this keeps happening in this part of Fort Myers where people are moving. I think the pipes are super old. I think they need to be replaced as soon as possible. I don't think they can handle the homes that are already existing on Treeline, but yet they keep building and building, and I think eventually we're gonna have a huge problem around here. Water demand continues to increase as more people move to Fort Myers. The city's long range plan includes building a water treatment plant east of 75 and to replace older pipes. Local in Fort Myers, Hope Salmon, NBC2. As we mentioned, back in February, a water main broke twice just north of Trail in Elementary School, costing the city about 2 million gallons of water. And then we told you again in July when a water main broke and families who live near Treeline and Colonial had to boil their tap water for several days.